guys, uh, this video here is to show you um, how to measure our pieces for our keepsake box. Uh, Mr. Singer and I have made a couple templates that are going to be around the room that show you each piece, the dimensions, and the gap that needs to go um, in between each piece for when the saw blade passes through. If we look at our notes over on this piece of wood, it says leave an eighth inch gap in between each piece uh, for the saw blade. And then it says, don't forget to cut off the extra um, pieces on the six and, a half inch piece, six and a half inch pieces. So what that is talking about is this gap between this line and this line, that's one eighth of an inch. So when the saw blade passes through, all this actually vanishes. That's actually cut sawn, sawn material. And then um, on our bottom and our long sides, we have um, an extra piece that we need to cut off so our box fits well together. Okay, so to do this, you're going to need a carpenter square or contractor square, and I'm also going to have you guys use a ruler. Okay, we're going to be using this one to make nice straight lines, this one here to find our measurements. Um, so we're going to be using both. Okay, so let's get started. I have two pieces of wood. They are both planed down to five eighths of an inch. Your wood should be planed between five eighths and a half inch, somewhere in between there. Um, since I have two pieces of wood, and I'm not going to be able to fit everything on each one. So on this one here. I'm going to be doing um, the, t the top and the bottom, and on this piece of wood here, I'm going to be doing my four sides. Okay, so to get started, if you look here, our top is going to be five inches by seven and a half inches. First thing I need to do is take my contractor square, and I'm going to loosen this nut, move it down to seven and a half inches, and tighten it up. I'm going to put the contractor square flush against the edge of my wood here. And I'm going to make a mark. Okay. Now, next part is nice and easy. I'm going to take my contractor square. I'm going to put it flush to the top part of the board. You can see it's the ruler is flush with this line. Make my mark, and there is my seven and a half inch top. Seven and a half inch by five inch. Okay. But now, if you remember, we need to. Uh, account for the saw blade. So we need to measure over from this line one eighth of an inch. So on my contractor square, on, in this case, I'm going to loosen it, move it up an eighth of an inch, tighten it, and do the exact same thing. Get it nice and flush. Make my mark. Turn my contractor square like so. Make my second mark. Okay. So now my top is done and there's my eighth inch gap. Next, we're gonna do our bottom, six and a half inches by four inches. We're gonna use the ruler next. Um, it's a little bit easier because we can take our ruler, put it right up on, against the line that we just made and make a six and a half inch mark right there. Okay, again, I want the, my lines to be nice and straight. So I'm gonna use my carpenter, uh, excuse me, contractor square, or carpenter square to line it up and make my next mark, all right? So now I have my six and a half inch piece here. But if you look here, it needs to be four inches tall. So I'm going to use my ruler for this one. Take my ruler, there's my four inch mark right there. I'm gonna put a little dash. I'm also gonna do it on the other side. And this way when I line my ruler up, it's gonna be straight and in the same spot. All right, so six and a half inch by four inch, and that's my bottom. All right, so now I'm going to, because I don't have enough room on this one, I'm going to transfer over to this board here, and we're going to be cutting our long sides, which again are six and a half inches by four inches, and we have two of those. And then we're going to do two four inch by five inch sides. Now these sides, when you put them on our box, are going to be rotated. Okay, um, on our other template, these are actually rotated, so you can see where you're going to put your pilot holes. We'll talk about that up to, excuse me, about that later. So um, again, I'm going to use my contractor square, go down to six and a half inches, and make my six and a half inch mark. I'm going to use my contractor square again this way. Okay, so now from here. I can, I can use my contractor, contractor square, or I can put my ruler back up here, and I can make another mark at one eighth an inch to make up for my gap. Put this down here. 
Okay, from here, I'm gonna go again with my ruler. Six and a half inches, which is right here. Contractor square. Line straight down. And repeat this process to make my saw blade gap. One eighth of an inch. Contractor square. Okay. Now on these two pieces, I need them to be four inches tall. Again, I'm using my ruler. Make sure it's nice and flush on the bottom so I have an accurate measurement. There's four. And now both of these pieces are going to be four inches. So I'm going to put my mark across both. And then come back to over here. Four inches. And I'm just going to connect. So like so. Oops. This one's being a little slippery on me here. There. All right, so there's my long side one, long side two, and they are both six and a half inches by four inches. You don't necessarily have to write all this down, but this is just for the video purpose. Now, if you look here, our last two pieces are going to be our four inch by five inch and our four inch by five inch. I already have um, did my one eighth, eighth inch gap, so I'm going to measure over four inches right here. Down again, I'm going to go over one eighth of an inch. And since, this, since this is my last piece, I'm not going to have to do the one eighth inch mark again because I'm just going to measure four inches here. Carpenter square straight down. So I don't have to do the eighth inch gap because it doesn't matter. We're going to be cutting the edge of the saw blade on this line. So again, I have short side one, short side two, and these are four inches by five inches, four inches by five inches. And again, they'll be flipped. Oh, and don't forget, each piece, nice and big, you're going to put your name, Connor, Connor, on each piece. People like to steal these and take your work. Don't let them do it. Okay? Um, one last thing. When you're done, these get put back on the table that are that's right in front of the stairs in the shop. Put the stuff away neatly, okay? Um, if the ruler comes off of one of these and you need help, come see Mr. Singer or myself, and we'll get it back on for you. All right. Let me let us know if you have any questions.